Hello everyone, my name is Nurizal Alkindi and here I will explain you about my project in Senior Mechanical Lab class. So for this presentation, it will consist of first, experiment preparation, like setup design and the components that I will be used for the project. And the second one is the assembly, where I assemble all of the components that I already prepared before. And then the third one is the experiment. Uh, we will talk about the working principle of the setup and data collection and then the expected result that uh, we will be get after the experiment. And then the last one is the analysis and we will discuss about the result uh, in the end of this presentation. Now we will start with the experiment preparation. So in the experiment preparation, it will consist of the shipping like we will discuss about the shipping cost estimation and what type of uh, shipping that we will use and then the design which is the semantic of the setup and also the purchasing which is the list of components that will be used so before we're talking about the experiment uh, design uh, for your information this project has to set up so the first setup is as you can see in the screen right now that i call it as vertical semantic because uh, this one has a boiler then after the boiler it will stride up uh, to the hydro generator which is the end of the pipeway and then the second setup is uh, i call it as l-shape semantic uh yeah why i call it l-shape because it has a shape like l so uh that setup uh we'll uh, have a pipeway that going from boiler to the uh, going up but uh before not like the vertical semantic that has straight up uh, way pipeway but for the l shape it will turn and will make a horizontal shape until the end of the pipe so this uh to set up has purpose is purpose to differentiate the edge the edge of the pressure gauge so we can measure the different pressure uh for different edge and now we were talking for the first setup which is the vertical semantic so this is the semantic of the vertical setup so in here we have a boiler that will have a strike uh pipeway strike up to the hydro generator in the hydro generator it will produce an ele electricity that we will measure later on with the multimeter and right before the hydro generator there will be a pressure and temperature sensor and now is the second setup that i call it as uh, l shape so this is the uh, schematic of the l shape setup so actually this is uh, almost have the same components with the first setup but the difference only uh, the shape of the pipeway so this uh, one has l shape but previously we have only yep on this straight pipeway and we will have elbow to turn the uh, the pipe from uh, horizontal from the vertical to the horizontal shape now we are talking about the shipping cost for this project since uh, our group make uh, one setup for heat transfer thermodynamics and then the fluid uh, mechanics so we just need to make a uh, one 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 setup that we will use together Therefore, in the first, uh, there will be one person that made it, uh, the, made the setup, and then after the first person done the setup, it, he or she will send it to the second person, and then the second person will be do the same thing with the first person, make the setup, make, uh, record the data, and then after the experiment done, uh, the second person will send it to the third person, like that. So, the first person in here is me. Uh, that located in the Jakarta, then I will send it to my friends, Dava Renaldi, 
uh, which has location in the Lampung and then uh, it will cost around 50k 50k rupiah and then Dava after Dava do the experiment Dava will send it to the third person which is Tiara Kusumadewi that located in the Riau and the estimation of the cost for from the from Lampung to Riau is around a hundred thousand rupiah and now this is all the company that uh, we'll be purchasing to make our setup so the first one is the micro water turbine or I also call it as micro hydro turbine is glue gun that we will be that will use to connect some part electrical mug so this is the boiler of our uh, setup multimeter to measure the voltage in the micro hydro turbine and then the pressure gauge sealant uh, thermometer so a half thin pipe and then so the 3 over 4 inch pipe actually uh, this is our plan to make our plan to make a different size of pipe to measure different flow of fluid but uh, that is the first plan uh, for this the final uh, plan we use the second plan which is the same uh, size of pipe but we have different edge of the different edge of the setup like i said before we have the l shape and then the uh, vertical shape and then pvc glue so yeah and then uh, a knee g thread so this is sdl so this is a steel sole sdd and uh, i don't know the name in english but i call it as plug and this is yeah uh, not a glue slot tip nivel top yeah and other things uh that we use to hours uh for our setup and now we will going to the assembly part so the first thing that we need to do is the boiler assembly so in here the mac electric or the boiler uh that we already buy before uh, we need to take the clo uh, the lid the uh, the top part of the mug and then we make a hole two holes on it uh why we need to make two holes so the first hole will be the way of the the gas uh exit not the gas the steam exit when the experiment process and then the another and the other hole will be the discharge and um, fill way the discharge way and to fill uh water when we need when we want to do the experiment and then after that uh we need after we make the holes we need to put the pipe threads uh for each holes and then seal uh the gap between the holes and the pipe and also we need to seal another uh, part of the mug that has probability that the gas come up of that in that part like uh as you can see in the figure there is a small hole or maybe a gap between the lid and the mug itself and this is how the mug uh will be looks like after the assembly yeah as we can see it has two way so the first uh way in here the that the so the pipe that has hole this is the discharge Oh, no discharge sorry not the discharge the exit way of the steam when we do the experiment and then another part is another hole uh, another hole that has a lid in here is to discharge and fill uh the water and there is no part in the mug that has a hole anymore so the gas will not come out during the experiment process now we will make the pipe uh, way assembly 
this is actually the one of the main part that we need to consider uh, carefully because as we know the pvc pipe has melting point around 100 degrees celsius and as we know that our experiment will use also 100 degrees celsius so the pvc pipe has probability to melt uh, during the experiment so the first thing that we need to do is to put the pvc pipe uh, in the outlet of the boiler uh, that i have explained before the way when the get during the experiment the steam will come out so we put the pipe on it and then for the vertical cinematic uh, we just use the striped connector between two pipe and for the l shape we use the l connector that for the in the early of my presentation i call it as elbow so we use the elbow uh, to connect uh, one pipe to another pipe and then uh, before we continue to connect uh, all the pipe uh, the first thing that we need to do is uh, to attach the temperature gauge and the pressure gauge to the T pipe and then so we already put the pressure and temperature gauge in the T pipe so another two hole we will connect it with the PVC pipe so it will make a line and then after that uh, we just need to put the pipe drugs uh, uh, sorry in Indonesia we call it as pipa drug but in English we call it as pipe thread as if I'm not mistaken so we put a pipe thread this pipe thread will have a function to attach the uh, micro hydro turbine and this is the setup will be looks like actually this is the mark uh, I'm sorry before uh, because this picture is taken before the boiler is assembled so this is the condition of the boiler when uh, I haven't do the assembly for the boiler but assume uh, the boiler already assembled here and it has one this uh, one exit for the steam so it will connect it with the pipe and this is the setup for the L shape actually and uh, it will going uh, horizontally so this is the the how I call it the ground and it will going up and then as you can see in here there's a silk there's a red silk circle it is uh, because um, in the first our plan is to make two size of pipe right like i have been explained before but we cannot continue that plan because uh some problem technical problem like some part that we cannot find in the market therefore we just need uh, we just use uh, one dimension so actually in this uh, in the red circle we put it the pressure gauge on it and then as you can see in the end of the setup we put the micro hydro generator this uh, set the, the, the location of the micro hydro generator is the same for the uh, vertical setup another setup this is the L setup the vertical setup also have also has the micro hydro generator in the end of the pipeway and now let's go to talk about the experiment uh, of this project now we will talking about the working principle in this project so there are three basic principle uh, the main reason why we build this project so the first is about the principle of heat transfer the we were talking about the heat energy transfer during the experiment and then the second one is use of franken cycle that we have learned before in the thermodynamic class where we use the Rankine cycle to produce the work electricity and then uh, the last principle is the fluid mechanics 
by using Bernoulli's equation for different pressure at different edge analysis. That's why we built two different setup. So for the experiment, uh, before we talk about the data collection, uh, in the experiment we used to ha uh, for me, I used two hundred milliliters uh, water, around two hundred milliliter inside of the mug. Actually, it's not really uh, two it's not really two hundred milliliter because when I uh, discharge the water inside the mug. Because of the design of the mug that I already designed uh, previously, there is also a limitation be, uh, that from the design. When I discharge the water, I cannot uh, discharge all of the water. So inside the, uh, inside that mug, there's there is still some amount of water that I don't know what is the volume, what is the uh, condition of the water. Therefore, actually, this is. The water that I use actually not really 200 milliliter, but uh, for the measurement I use 200 milliliter. Yeah, so just take uh, the the amount of water inside the mug is, as the error. And this is the data, the data that I cut. So the time zero until 260. Actually, it has a same data, same behavior, has 25 degree Celsius, zero pressure, and zero voltage. And then after the 300 second, it ha it produced the voltage. And this data is for the L shape, for the L shape L shape setup. And why the pressure is always zero from the first until the end of the experiment and I will discuss it later. This is the data for the vertical shape. Same with the the L shape uh, experiment from zero from the zero second until 260 it still have same data same behavior of the steam the temperature is in the room temperature, the pressure is zero, the voltage also still zero, but the difference is in the, uh, actually, is if we can, if we compare it with the L shape, it has less value of uh, voltage. The value in the L shape actually higher and the maximum voltage is 0 0.044 but for the vertical shape the maximum is only 0 0.028 it quiet a lot for the difference but that's the fact of this experiment and this is the continuation of the data and again in here the pressure is still zero i will discuss it later in the analysis part and now we will analyze our project. Now is the heat transfer analysis. As I as I explained before, in this setup, there is a heat transfer that we design that will help that we design it uh, in the boiler. Actually, in the whole part of this setup uh heat transfer can be happen like in the pipe and also in the wall of the mug but we neglect it we just focusing uh, to the heat transfer in the uh heat element uh bottom in the bottom of the electric mug to the water so uh in here as we know that the the formula for the heat is MCP delta T and in here we already know that the Q in to the boiler is 190 watt or 100 joule per second and we got the data from the specification of the, the boiler and then the CP of water is 100 joule kilogram per Kelvin, uh, joule per kilogram Kelvin and this is the result that I take from the L-shape experiment. Uh, the 
time uh, zero second the temperature is still 25 uh, degrees celsius and after 200 seconds it's still 25 uh, degrees celsius but after it reached 290 seconds the temperature changed to 100 degrees celsius it shows that the heat transfer is exist in this process why because during the during the during the time uh during the time running the temperature is changed if the temperature is not changed so there is no heat transfer happen in this uh in this experiment but the different the temperature difference shows that heat transfer exists but why in, it just show that 25 to 100 as you can see in the previous data collection from 25 it just yeah like just different two or five seconds it directly jump to 100 degrees celsius why it not change uh slowly like from 25 to 30 40 and 50 i think this is because the error uh that caused by the thermometer gauge that not read the steam flow accurately like of the steam flow in the pipe maybe the temperature the temperature gauge uh only read some part of the steam maybe only the only the part that still has the te the room temperature but sometimes the fluid also touch uh the the temperature gauge but it it cannot change the temperature gauge directly therefore the temperature the temperature gauge still show 25 until whole of the pipe is filled with the 100 degrees celsius steam therefore uh, actually we can say it is the, as the error because the design of the temperature gauge location is not uh we cannot say it fully accurate because we cannot get the temperature value very accurate now is the fluid mechanics analysis so actually for this analysis we expect that we got the value of the pressure gauge uh, in the pressure gauge and also with different uh, h of the pressure gauge we can see different pressure but the fact in this experiment is we cannot read uh, the pressure in the pressure gauge the reason why uh, this is just my uh, opinion uh, but i think it is because uh, we have open n set up so after the high mini hydro uh, turbine uh, the steam is just uh, go out to the atmospheric uh, pressure that has atmospheric pressure so i think because uh, we directly connect with the atmospheric pressure we also have the pressure almost the same with the atmospheric pressure therefore the pressure will be nearly zero uh, and so that's why we can uh, we cannot read uh, through the temp, uh, the pressure gauge and from the Bernoulli, Bernoulli equation in here if we we can see uh, in here we expect that uh, when the edge of the temperature temperature gauge uh, different uh higher because we put it vertical which is higher than the l shape we have we will have we expect to have less pressure but in the fact in the fact of this uh process we also did not get any number from the pressure gauge because of the open end setup but uh, we will compare it through the membrane like you, you can see in the picture in here we put a like a membrane of a, yep a membrane to see whether in the L shape and the vertical shape has positive or negative 
pressure but after we do the project we also got the same result because we cannot see whether the membrane is pop out or it it is going down have a concave down we cannot see like that so we cannot uh, say in this location whether the pressure has positive or negative number sorry positive or negative pressure that's why we can say that for the fluid mechanic analysis it is fail now for the thermodynamic analysis uh, sorry i cannot give you a graph or any significant uh, result that can convince you that this setup can work for the thermodynamic as uh, we have been designed but i can explain you through the data that i got so in here as we know that increasing temperature uh, is also increasing voltage that is uh, the basic of the uh, Rankine cycle i cannot uh, show actually the the fact is the increasing temperature it will increase the work uh, produced by a turbine but in here we cannot measure the work because of we there are many unknown data for the analysis calculation and we did not get the data for it like we cannot change the voltage that we got to the work we need some data like the ampere like the current in the in the micro hydro pump but uh, after we looking uh, for the specification of the micro hydro pump we cannot get the data of the current therefore we cannot change it directly to the fault uh, the to the work like in the equation equation of the Rankine cycle that uh, use energy balance qcv minus uh, wcv uh, plus plus h1 minus h2 this bit but we cannot use it because we don't know the work uh, produced by this uh, by the micro hydro pump but we can see in the voltage result uh, by the micro hydro pump because the voltage is linearly the same with the uh, the work when the work increase the voltage also increase and then from the Rankine cycle increasing temperature it's also increasing the work and in here increasing the temperature and increasing the time it increased the voltage which is it means that the work also increase from this data i can say that actually the thermodynamics happens based on what based on the Rankine cycle that uh, we learned before but the problem is because there are many unknown data that we don't know we cannot do the analysis kind of calculation uh, properly and i'm sorry for that so as the conclusion of this project the setup is almost work as what has been designed the thermodynamics the heat transfer work as what is predicted however the fluid does not work since a uh, technical error of the design and i've explained before maybe the open end is the main uh, reason why the fluid does not work as what we have been designed besides that the uh, there are many data that we don't know of our calculation therefore we cannot do the analysis properly and that is our calculation and also for the feedback in this class uh, actually I'm very excited because this class has many lab experiment and hands-on experience that I really I really like it and I have so spiritful to do this class but in the other side I also disappointed because what I have been done is not the same with what uh, with I expected in the first I expect that I can do the analysis well properly I can show to the to my friends to the lecture that 
the project is done and the analysis is this and the result is the same what i have been designed like that but uh in the reality it is not like that our project not uh done well many many error happen during the experiment like that so i cannot do the analysis properly i cannot show the best result to the lecturer to the friends that that's why i got disappointed uh to myself but i really i really got many lessons from this class and that's all from my explanation about the project sorry if there are so many mistakes that i made during the presentation and i hope i can get many feedbacks from you thank you very much